We're now going to look at creating some three-phase wiring. To do that, we're going to go straight from our project this time and right-click on the project, and we're going to select New Drawing. It's going to add a new drawing to the project folder for us. So the new drawing will be called Three-Phase, and we'll give it a description of Three-Phase Wiring. And make sure you look at the sheet number which is 005 in this case, to be sequential and in line with our project manager drawing listing over there on the left. Click on OK. It uses a default AutoCAD template that I've set up, which is the ACAD electrical.dwt template. So hence the Autodesk title block and so on, which you can update at any time if you wish. That will have loaded up a group of layers that we can use. So let's go to the Home tab on the ribbon. Make sure that Wires is our current layer. Also make sure that you change the wire layer color to something a little bit more suitable than white. We don't want everything white on the drawing. I'm going to use red. Then I'm going to go to the schematic tab on the ribbon. And I'm going to go over here to insert wires and wire numbers. We want a ladder first. So we need a three phase ladder. So we go up to the top, click on the down arrow there and insert ladder. Immediately three phase first. Number of rungs, we'll say 10. Spacing. We'll give that one inch, like so, and the first reference will be 001. Index will be one, and what we'll do there now is click on OK, and then it asks for the first position of the rung. So if I click and just drag, don't even need to drag there because I've specified the number of rungs. So if I zoom in on that now, you'll see that starts at one and goes to eight as we specified. I now need to add a multiple bus to that, to bring the three-phase wiring off of this electrical bus here. Again, insert wires, wire numbers, multiple bus. Spacing, I've left that at one and one to line in with the other spacing that we used. Now be aware, I can use a component, something like a connector block or something like that. I can use another wire bus, multiple wires, which is what we're going to do. Or I might just use empty space, horizontal or vertical. I can specify the number of wires in here, or I can click on the buttons two, three, four. We're using three because it's three phase. We click on OK. I'm going to select this wire here. Click, and as I drag outwards, there's my wires. I'm going to take them quite a distance away, about there, and click. Now you'll notice snap and grid have come on. I'll just press Enter to confirm those three wires first, though. I might switch off snap and grid for the moment just to make life easier as I move around. I'll put them back on maybe in a minute. Now, I need to start adding what I need for the circuit. The three-phase motor is going to go here, but I need some fuses and some circuit breakers. So I go to the icon menu, fuses and circuit breakers here. I want a three-pole fuse with tags. Now I'm going to select the top one. That doesn't line up right now because I need snap and grid back on. So let's pop those on. I'll hover there like so, and as soon as it lines up with that wire, I'll click. Do I want to build up or down? Well, it's kind of obvious I want to go downwards, and there's my three fuses. You'll look up a manufacturer's fuse, remember, so that it automatically goes into the bill of materials. So let's go for that one there. That's a three-pole fuse box, and you'll notice over here, with blown fuse indicator or without. So it depends on what you want. I'm going to go for one with a blown fuse indicator, for obvious reasons. I'll OK that now, and it all updates, and if I zoom in now, there's my number, and it's 30 amp fuses. I now need to add some circuit breakers before I place the motor at the end of these three wires. So I go to the icon menu again, fuses circuit breakers, and what I look at now is circuit breakers disconnects there. And I'm going to go for just a one pole circuit breaker first of all, and place it just there. That's CB04. I might want to change that to CB01 just to be sequential because it's the first one there. I do a look up again and I apply whichever one I want to use. Now you've got lots of different ones in here, lots of different manufacturers. I'm just going to select a standard one, that one there, and OK it. And then OK that like so. And that updates accordingly. Obviously, you've got ampage issues here. I've got 30 amps and 45 amps there. Obviously, I've just selected at random from the list of manufacturers components there. You would obviously be a lot more accurate and a lot more sensible there. So let's go back now to the icon menu. And I'm going to go back to circuit breakers again. Circuit breakers disconnects. This time I want a second plus circuit breaker one pole. 
and I'm going to line that in there with that one that I placed above. It'll update and I'm going to go parent sibling and select that as the parent one. I'll update the child one, thank you very much, and it updates, I'll just click on OK, and you'll see that's gone to 45 amps as well. Notice they're numbering downwards, 005, 004. So if I place another one here, that'll be 003. So circuit breakers again, circuit breakers disconnects, one pole circuit breaker, line it in using the snap and the grid. It'll update again, parent sibling button, select the top one again. Yes, update the child and OK, and that updates as well. So you can see there 005006, 004004. So you can see how that's linked up and numbered together. So that's all nice and neat and ready to go. So we've numbered all of that up. Now we need to add the three phase motor. So again, icon menu, and we look for motor control, and we want a three phase motor, and we're going to place that just about there on the end. And we could put some information in here, line one, line two, and so on. I'm going to look up a motor, though, and we'll place a totally enclosed motor. We'll go for that one there. Again, I'm picking these at random for speed. You would obviously be a lot more accurate. So that's in there, and I'll click on OK. So there's my motor there. So what I've got to do now is my three-phase wiring as well. So I come up here now, and three-phase wiring. And what we do is we click on OK, and we go one, and two, and three, like so, and it numbers them up for me. Now, you might want to change the base number to say four. If I click in there, notice the wire numbers update. When I click on OK, you'll see them update accordingly. So if I go one, and two, and three, you can see those update to four, and then click on cancel. It's one of the only commands in AutoCAD Electrical where you click on cancel or hit escape to come out. So there's our motor in there, 2HP. And there's our 4L3, 4L2, 4L1 as our wiring numbering in place as well. So that is how you would start to develop a three-phase electrical drawing. I've shown you the basics. Obviously, you might do a lot more depending on your project and its specification.